I want to, I want to prove that Christianity is fake religion. Jesus Christ can do nothing. I want to prove that. I am Pastor Kos from Nepal. Uh, I have wife, which is uh, uh, Shoba. I uh, have uh, three kids. They are in Nepal. Uh, my father is was a Hindu priest, and we are from the Hindu priest background. All brothers and sisters, all are doing the Hindu priest family. They belong. Uh, Hinduism is strong. That's why I am also a Hindu priest. I was also, I was Hindu priest at that time. Uh, when um, I was uh, uh, thinking myself uh, uh, why there is no peace in my heart. Because I was not uh, feeling any peace. Although I was uh, uh, I was ministering many girls and goddesses because uh, Hinduism I had uh, uh, 330 million guardians, guardian goddesses. I kept on worshipping them and um, praying to them, but uh, for many years, for let's say 30 <laughs> years, uh, but uh, they were not uh, responding to my prayers and not responding to uh, my uh, worship. I was uh, wondering why, and, uh, and my another question was for my life was. Uh, why I am here on earth? Who am I? Was the main purpose for me to, to come here on earth? What will happen after, uh, after I die? Because Hinduism tells us that <coughs> after we die, we need to go, we need to go through the cycle uh, for 84,000 times. I need to I need to get born like a like a, like a, like an insect, a cow, a chicken, dog, and so many things. I need to I I need to change my my beings. I got disappointed. At that time, I was a businessman as a as an veterinarian, also working in Kathmandu. I had a business also. Uh, I had a, a veterinary clinic um, working in my business form. One day one evangelist, one Christian came to me and shared gospel to me. He shared gospel to me for many many days uh, and uh, he really bothered me because he, I, I didn't want to uh, accept Jesus Christ although he kept on coming at my veterinary center, veterinary, uh, veterinary clinic and uh, kept on uh, sharing the gospel and I kept on uh, rejecting him because I'm from the high caste family, you know. There is no caste upper than my caste and I don't want to go in the church and uh, mix up myself with the low caste people. Another thing is I had already uh, 330 million girls and goddesses. What shall I do with uh, switching myself to one God, you know? What one, king, one, God, one God can do for me? 330 are not able to do anything, so there is no hope for me. That's why I told him, no way, I don't believe that your Christianity is like a fake religion. And I don't want to believe those. And he kept on coming. And one day, I really got challenged. And I wanted to discover also. Uh, I wanted to prove that the Christianity is fake. Fake religion. They are evangelizing, they are sharing their Bible only to get dollars, only to get money, only to earn money, you know. I, I was sure about that. I was sure. Because many people told me, oh, these Christians are earning money, you know. This, this is the, either business or the pol politics. Because of that reason, I rejected them also. I thought, how can I reject that person who kept on coming to me to share the gospel? I tried to find the ways. Because I, re I, re I requested him not to come to me to share gospel, he keep, keeps on coming. And one day, I discovered myself that, wow, I want to invite him because he, he keeps on coming, but today I want to invite him. And I invited him, and what, it, what I did, 
I ask him, you are the one telling to me, Jesus is God, yours are not. He said, yes. You are the one telling to me for several days and uh, months that uh, Jesus can save you, can speak to you, can stay with you, can touch you, can, can change you, can do everything apart from him. Uh, nothing can, nobody can do things. You are saying like that, yes or no? You are saying Jesus is the loving God and living God and all other are idols, they can do nothing. Are you, are you saying those things? I'm mad with you, you know. Uh, I want to, I want to, I want to prove that Christianity is fake religion. Jesus Christ can do nothing. I want to prove that. And he said, no, no, you cannot prove. And I am going to prove that. And he said, how? And I said to him, okay. You said Jesus Christ is the living and loving God. He comes to me and He changes me. He touches me. Yes? Yes. Okay. I will ask your Jesus. Ten minutes in the morning, ten minutes in the evening, faithfully, honestly. I will ask Him if He is real God, come on and touch me and change me within 30 days. If not 30 days, then I will prove to the person in the world that Christian, Christian is a religion that is very fake. And he said, okay, you can do that. And I said to him additionally that if Jesus Christ will not prove himself to be God and a, a, a loving God and living God, he doesn't, doesn't touch me and change me, within a month, then what I'll, I'm going to do? I'm going to make a complaint against you in the police office and police will arrest you. Is that okay with you? He said, okay. Uh -huh. I said to him, if within a month the power of Jesus Christ comes and touches me and changes me, and if without nobody teach me, uh, I, I start Jesus is the Lord, then what I'm going to do, you know? I am going to leave everything. I am going to leave my house. I am going to leave my property. I am going to leave, give up my business. I am going to follow one new Jesus. I am going to sacrifice my all, all things that I have. Otherwise, you will be in trouble. So, don't teach me for one month, at least one month. I will try to discover and I will come at you and I will betray you if Jesus Christ will not touch me and change me. And I began to do that faithfully. I really wanted to find. Wow. I want to really prove this Jesus Christ is a fake. And what I did. I started to to ask in the morning with one heart, one mind, one desire, Jesus, who are you? If you are God, come on, touch me and change me. Otherwise, you are not God. Within a month, first week, no, 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 nothing happened. Second week, nothing happened. Third week also, nothing happened. And I, I thought, wow, I'm going to uh, conclude that Jesus Christ is nothing. And what happened? Third week, the last day of third week, something happened to me. That was when I was asking to him, even though in Kathmandu it was winter time, cold time, not like this, but cold time, and I was covering myself with a, with a blanket, uh, a very thin blanket, even though I was feeling cold, and uh, I, I was asking him, uh, um, uh, like, Jesus, who are you? If you are God, touch me and change me. Right now, within a month, now you have only one, one way to live. And um, I was uh, doing like this. Uh, suddenly, in the room, there was no one, but the, uh, suddenly, a uh, current of electricity produced. Producing, uh, and then it's, it, the current was not so strong, but it was uh, uh, stronger than mild current. And the current came inside me and entered into me and began to run very fast and I, I was uh, I was shocked I was I, 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 my body was trembled and and, and uh, I was uh, uh, closing my eyes and opening my eyes and wondering and uh, being so 
afraid, you know, asking, who is this? What's happening to me this morning? Who is this? What's happening? Who is inside me? Running very fast for more than one minute, I guess. And it calmed down inside. It didn't come outside. I got surprised. What happened to me this morning? I was challenging Jesus. Jesus sent the power. Wow. And I began to say, Jesus has the power. I am worshipping for many years to those 330 million gods and goddesses, but nothing happened like this, even though I worship uh, dedicatedly. But uh, today, what's happening to me? And I believed that, that the very morning that Jesus Christ is real and really the God and the Lord who has mighty power. And I began, and He came and He touches me, you know, through the power. He touches me, He changes me, He, he strikes me, and uh, He wake up to me, you know. Uh, and um, I cried, and I realized that, uh, oh, Jesus Christ is real. Pastor Kos from Nepal. As you know, we are doing our ministry in Malaysia among Nepalese. I need your prayers and financial support. If you are willing to be a partner with us for the ministry of God among Nepalese, you can contact us at kosnep at yahoo.com. K O S H N E P at yahoo.com. Thank you very much for watching this video. I greet you humbly. Salamat po. Bye bye.